உங்கள் காரை சிறந்த தரத்தில் சிறப்பு சலுகையில் சர்வீஸ் பண்ணணுமா உடனே 5k கார் கார்க்க வாங்க ஈ பாக்ஸ் காலேजेस ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஃபீல் தி கல்ச்சர்ஸ் फ्रॉम ஹோம் அண்ட் வின் எக்ஸைட்டிங் கேஷ் பிரைசஸ் ஹாய் திஸ் இஸ் சுதீப் தோபல்லவ் and uh, you are watching me on behind woods if you want to watch me and more of your favorite actors then please share like and subscribe to behind woods to harihar nagar was a very interesting incident because those day i that is actually my first film as a villain the clip which i had sent as a uh, self audition or a demo was of the uh, of me throwing the kid they called me up and said uh, sudipto welcome on board hi hello everyone uh, we have a special guest joining us today uh, he came in as a bad as villain no he defined villainism in a movie that is called to harihar nagar that was a sequel to the very hit movie in harihar nagar uh, this to harihar nagar came out in 2009 and he also portrayed a villain in lot of other movies in lot of south indian languages but now we are going to meet him because he made a special appearance as one of the best villains in the movie extraction so let me welcome sudapto balav thank you so much it's my pleasure uh, being here uh, with you in the days of social distancing uh, addressing and doing this chat with you it's my pleasure so sudapto uh, let me ask you again how did you end up in uh, to harihar nagar i know you have uh, answered this a lot of time but you had given a different definition of villainism in this movie so uh, what is your experience you know coming down to south and working in to harihar nagar uh once again i like i had earlier said in a lot of interviews and once again i'll repeat myself yeah, yeah. uh to harihar nagar was a very interesting incident because those days i that is actually my first film as a villain oh, oh. i had never done a villain before that i was doing out and out comedy and yeah. uh i used to host a fun show for uh mtv Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I was a part of the Bakra uh, shows those days. It was a prank show and all. So you know, my uh, like every actor has that uh, body of work and that scape which says, okay, mm-hmm. the, he would be doing this kind of roles. You know, I was, and even the Hindi films which I was doing, mm-hmm. or the Bengali film uh, I was doing at that given point of time was always. comedy 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 and uh, like uh, i always say is that uh, unfortunately mm-hmm. uh, in india uh, those days now things are changing those okay. days uh, an actor was cast of uh, on the basis of their physicality mm-hmm. and i was never a six pack guy i was always a family pack guy Yeah. Uh, so uh, from there uh, so i was doing those days i was doing a hindi film with uh, um malayalam actress uh, lakshmi gopala swami okay and me and lakshmi we were doing a hindi film that's when uh, lakshmi had introduced me to her manager mm-hmm. who in turn got me introduced to lal sir and i remember i had Come, they had asked me to come down for a day mm-hmm. and uh, do an audition for them okay so i remember i came to kochi and on that vitala road there's this hotel mm-hmm. called white fort okay okay yeah i stayed in white fort and lal sir was there and cinematographer venu sir was there mm-hmm. jazeer mohammed was there lal sir's son who's a independent director now jean no, no, yes. was a jean was a college student then uh-huh. okay we did the audition and uh, evening i went to his house had dinner and next morning when the car came to pick me up uh, they came out with a signing bond and check and i was little like and that's when i called him up i okay. called up uh, lal sir and said sir are you sure Mm-hmm. that 
you want me as a villain in the film no, okay. and that to the main villain of the film and yeah, okay. the history of i uh, in harihar nagar i have heard of i haven't seen the film mm-hmm. uh, are, you, are you sure of that so he smiled he said that uh, you know the production team will let you know the dates just okay. block this month mm-hmm. for me no okay and then i came short mm-hmm. So you did a lot of other movies as well with uh, Prithviraj and uh, Indrajit. I did a movie called Lavender. I was doing a film called Goodbye December, and then uh, of late I've done two films from Kerala. Uh, one was Tian. Oh, okay. So yeah. Tian had uh, it was a debutant director, and uh, it had uh, Prithviraj. Uh, Indran, Indran as an Indrajit, uh, then uh, Suraj. Uh, mm-hmm. It had a very impressive cast and uh, very. Uh, last year, actually, it was in the festivals. Uh, I did a film f- uh, with a director from Kerala. It's a f- the film is in English, but it's a okay. tribute to Padmarajan sir, mm-hmm. uh, which is uh, this film is called Humans of Someone. Okay. and uh, it was the opening film for the kerala international film festival yes, been directed by a extremely talented guy called sumesh lal mm-hmm. vipin chandran was the cinematographer of the film and that's a yes. very interesting film that's a very 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 interesting film means uh, mm-hmm. i uh, it's uh, people who are fans of padmarajan sir they mm-hmm. would love the film because the director had taken five s- small portions from five different films and okay. he had woven it into one single story okay, okay. so that's what uh, your malayalam connections are all about so let me now ask you about the talk of the internet the movie extraction so how did you land up with a role in the movie extraction i will tell you uh, before extraction uh, a pretty a well known uh, casting director once again amaleli uh, okay. from uh, bombay um, tess joseph she okay. called me up and she asked me that shudup to uh, are you working are yeah. you in the mood to work i said first okay. i said no <laughs> okay i said okay listen uh, i'm sending you a script go mm-hmm. through that okay. and uh, send me a clipping of that mm-hmm. and any of your recent work uh, that you've uh, done out of like so i uh, read it and you would not believe that the clip which i had sent mm-hmm. as a uh, self audition or a demo was of the uh, of me throwing the kid that is one scene everybody has been talking about you know throwing a kid off the roof Uh, so that is the kind of bad as villain you have pro- portrayed in this movie and i was and i distinctly remember it uh, uh-huh. it was uh, afternoon and we were having this uh, festival you know durga puja festival and we were going so me and chaitali we were going some uh, to the pujas we uh, so she said that okay before we leave for that we will shoot this portion and uh, it was in our terrace Hmm? Okay. And she shot it on her iPhone, and she sent me the clip, and that's how uh, okay. the casting team had shown it to the director. And Sam said, "Okay, you." And I think over here also, in two days' time, they okay. called me up and said, uh, "Shudip, to welcome on board." Okay. And okay. after uh, I came uh, on board, I came to know about the director. the producer mm-hmm. as well as uh, the hero of the film so what is the work experience like you know it's a big uh, cast it's a big production house you know such uh, international stars coming in and you know a super hero is the hero of the movie so what is the overall work experience like experience uh, wise i would say that uh, it's like you know it takes time for you to absorb that fact it's like all of a sudden somebody sends you to space and you are completely zoned out and you think oh this and then after so many years of being a part of the trade 
doing so many films and oh, i have yeah. probably barring two three languages i've actually mm-hmm. have done films in all languages tamil mm-hmm. telugu malayalam kannada yeah. bhojpuri marathi bengali mm-hmm. english i've done english films before mm-hmm. uh, english and, and then when you realize okay this is how you do Mm-hmm. okay so much of paperwork and then you realize it's a little disorienting in the initial days but mm-hmm. it takes time for you to absorb so i the like some of the people i had worked before like like i said tes uh, the casting team i had worked with them before randeep huda i had worked with him before mm-hmm. in a hindi film i had worked with him before mm-hmm. uh, then it was uh, then rest of the crew uh, members and all right from the day the first my first experience of working with them was when i had gone to amdabad where they had put up the base mm-hmm. uh to shoot uh, not to shoot actually try my look out they had done. no okay. litwin i have done you know so many films i had never seen <laughs> that kind of homework mm-hmm. that goes into preparing a look i still mm-hmm. remember uh i landed and you see how well they take care of their actors mm-hmm. i landed in the morning because uh, i was um, it was a long flight actually and uh, i landed in the morning the car picked me up took me to the hotel and i was given 6 hours to rest so that the actor doesn't get stressed or feel fatigue during a look test mm-hmm. that itself was a shocker for me because we had so many used to we run into that yeah 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 you land in the airport and the, and you can hear the production manager yeah, yeah, the driver how, he, in how much time will he come to the set is it so we are used to a different kind of a thing here uh, you gone for a look test and they say let him rest for 6 hours when mm-hmm. when the ad comes to pick me up at the hotel greets me well and said sir can i get you some coffee or drink uh, so that you feel fresh during uh, uh, the journey from the hotel to uh, the base mm-hmm. which was 2 kilometers mm-hmm. okay and uh, so they are trying to make me feel comfortable in that 2 mm-hmm. kilometers also which indian actors are not so used to <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after that then when i went there it was a team mm-hmm. okay. it was okay. a team of one two three four, eight people trying mm-hmm. to set the look okay. Okay. so the makeup guys who had come so they are the same makeup guys who had set the look for pirates of caribbean okay uh-huh. that's the team that's oh, the makeup that's... team yeah uh-huh. so joe wellen was there tom harrison was there Mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, Tibiero uh, was there. Then, of course, uh, how can one miss it? The costume was done by none other than Buana. Buana mm-hmm. is from Serbia, and she is she set the looks for people like Julia Roberts and things like that. So mm-hmm. it's a different tangent. We're working together mm-hmm. with them, mm-hmm. and then the look was set. we had a guy from thailand who was doing uh, the accessories there's a separate department mm-hmm. and a separate mm-hmm. team that handles only accessories mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that uh, that guy was there and it took me about 4 to 5 hours just to do the fittings okay just to do the fittings pick and mm-hmm. they made me wear i had see of the four five scenes which i had i think i had three changes okay. they made me wear uh, go uh, wear all the three changes so that there's no mm-hmm. glitch on the mm-hmm. day they mm-hmm. made me wear the shoes the socks the belt which is not even seen should have mm-hmm. been right so okay. that kind of homework and mental preparation is what they bring on board mm-hmm. so uh, that was completely completely a very interesting incident and then uh, uh, the first uh, schedule we had was in amdabad mm-hmm. 
so uh, the first schedule we shot in ahmedabad mm-hmm. uh mm, that itself was another uh, very interesting thing that you take up a complete indian city and transform it into a different country mm-hmm. that kind of production design itself like you know every hoarding that you see around in that uh, uh, location we were shooting it was written in bangla mm-hmm. the rickshaws look mm-hmm. uh, the we get in bangladesh the number plates of the cars everything everything yeah, yeah. even uh, the police vehicles even the police vehicles, police vehicles. Everything, yeah, yeah. everything everything they try they converted uh, mm-hmm. ahmedabad uh, parts of ahmedabad into mm-hmm. bangladesh so we were completely mesmerized me priyanshu randeep we were all very mesmerized to see this was uh, the production team oh wonderful they they put the level up to the they, they took it to the next level when we saw that they turned bangkok into bangladesh <laughs> We okay. thought Ahmedabad, Bangladesh, okay, fantastic. Okay. When we went to shoot in Bangkok, Bangla, mm-hmm. you see that bridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. that bridge where the climax is shot. That's that cool. is yeah. shot in Thailand. Oh. oh, that is shot in a place which is two hundred kilometers to two hundred to fifty kilometers off Thailand, in called mm-hmm. Nakhon Pathom. Mm-hmm. They shot mm-hmm. it in Nakhon Pathom, and uh, you know the way they have transformed that mm-hmm. whole thing. itself is amazing it it is yeah. unbelievable unbelievable and then during the shooting working with uh, i remember that we had a very interesting moment during the shooting in bangkok because uh, this film has been shot by none other than thomas uh, newton sigal tom uh-huh. sigal is the and during the shooting of this he got the uh, golden globe for bohemian rhapsody oh, oh okay okay so itself is a high you are shooting with a cinematographer who's got the golden globe mm-hmm. and on the set of your film and uh, so yes everything the about this special. film has been everything was special it was a new experience i would say yeah. it was a new experience for us indian actors mm-hmm. so it, okay. it's been the journey's been interesting so this was the verdict uh, of the first week there are action movies then there is extraction i think uh, that really suits because we were at the edge of our seats watching this movie we missed it in the theater but still you know it was a great experience we were wondering what the next scene is what the action sequence is going to be like so it was it was really a wonderful experience yeah means the act like uh... few uh, days back i think last week when the film released uh, so uh, a film a, a very very popular uh, film uh, a journalist in um, los angeles had written that this film redefines action in world cinema mm-hmm. uh, amazing another uh, thing which was uh, if you go through the tweet uh, handle of ram gopal verma he has given a different kind of a tweet so uh, i can't repeat the tweet because of the choice of words he's used <laughs> <laughs> but if you see it for yourself so it's like action was phenomenal That's phenomenal wonderful. what was your work experience with uh, chris hemsworth you know uh, i have heard he's a wonderful person so did you get a chance to meet him Yes, we did. We did, and uh, amazingly humble. Mm-hmm. Amazingly humble that uh, mm, you would expect, uh, because uh, from a star or an actor of that magnitude, mm-hmm. with that kind of body of work, and also coincidentally, the producer of this film, Chris, mm-hmm. is the producer of this film also okay. with the Russo brothers. Okay. Uh, an amazingly humble an amazingly humble guy to talk to his knowledge about cinema and his passion for the craft mm-hmm. is what you learn means you know the, these are the guys who live eat breathe cinema mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that that entire passion and when even he talks to you he brings it as a rub on effect on you 
Uh, so it's like a very magnetic kind of a thing that when you discuss cinema with these kind of passionate people, mm-hmm. you yourself is like very charged up. You, that's okay. the kind of impact. So when are we going to see you again down here in South? Uh, maybe uh, not a villain, maybe maybe as a villain or maybe something better than that. So when are you going to see you see you down here uh, South? You should ask this to uh, Malayalam <laughs> filmmakers. You're asking you, this question. You're asking the wrong person. I am open to work, and I, I, uh-huh. I am means I can categorically say there are so many people I want to work with. I uh-huh. want to work with Anwar Rashid. I want to work mm-hmm. with Ashik Abu. I want to work with uh, Jean. I want to work with anybody and everybody. Yeah. But the thing is that I, Malayalam filmmakers, the day they give me a call, I'm there to do a film with them. So Sudhaptov, uh, we hope to see you soon down here in South doing some wonderful roles. So thank you so much uh, for being here uh, and spending so much time with me. It was really wonderful talking to you. But it was wonderful talking to you too and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you so much. உங்களுக்கு அரை சிறந்த தரத்தில் சிறப்பு சலுகையில் சர்வீஸ் பண்ணணுமா உடனே ஃபைவ் கே கார்க்கு வாங்க இ பாக்ஸ் காலேஜஸ் ஃபெஸ்ட் ஃபீல் த கல்ச்சுரல்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஹோம் அண்